Let's get right into it. Number 9. Dinosaur Goo Imagine finding something squishy inside a 68 million year old T Rex bone. That's exactly what happened when scientist Mary Schweitzer cracked open this ancient leg bone. She took this priceless dinosaur bone and dumped it in acid. But what she found inside changed everything we know about fossils. Inside this ancient bone was actual soft tissue, blood vessels that could still stretch and bend like rubber bands, and she found what looked like red blood cells. This isn't supposed to happen. Soft tissue is supposed to disappear faster than your motivation at the gym. Turns out, the iron in the dinosaur's blood acted like nature's formaldehyde. It basically turned the T-Rex into its own Egyptian mummy. The dinosaur accidentally embalmed itself from the inside. This discovery was so crazy that many scientists refused to believe it at first. But there it was. Dinosaur goo that you could stretch like a rubber band. So next time you're looking at a T-Rex skeleton in a museum, remember there might be some prehistoric jelly hidden inside those bones. Number 8. The 95% we can't see. Everything you know about the universe, all the stars, planets, and galaxies, is just 5% of what's actually out there. Scientists discovered that 95% of our universe is completely invisible to us. Scientists call these invisible things dark matter and dark energy. Without it, galaxies would spin so fast they'd tear themselves apart like a blender without a lid. We only know it's there because galaxies aren't exploding like cosmic fireworks. Then there's dark energy. And this one's even weirder. It makes up 68% of the universe and acts like a cosmic Red Bull, making the universe expand faster and faster. Imagine blowing up a balloon with galaxy stickers on it. As you blow, the stickers move apart from each other. That's what dark energy is doing to our universe. Except nobody's blowing the balloon. It's just happening by itself. We have absolutely no clue where this energy comes from. It's like your phone battery charging itself without being plugged in. Scientists discovered this by accident and probably wish they hadn't because now they have to explain how they missed 95% of everything that exists. Number 7. The planet that wasn't there. Back in the 1800s, astronomers noticed something weird about Mercury's orbit. It wasn't moving exactly like it should according to physics. Instead of thinking, hey, maybe we don't understand gravity perfectly, they went, there must be another planet pulling on Mercury. They named this imaginary planet Vulcan. Scientists spent decades looking for this ghost planet between Mercury and the Sun. One French astronomer even claimed he saw it crossing in front of the Sun. He got France's highest honor for this discovery, but he was probably looking at a sunspot. For 50 years, astronomers kept claiming they spotted Vulcan. It was like the world's longest game of I spy, where everyone was lying. Then Einstein shows up with his theory of relativity and explains Mercury's orbit perfectly. Turns out space itself is bent warped like a giant cosmic trampoline. There was no missing planet after all. So these astronomers spent half a century searching for something that didn't exist. It's like looking for your phone while you're talking on it. Number 6. The End of Order Imagine you have two planets dancing around each other in space. They move in perfect circles, like a cosmic ballet that never ends. Scientists love this because they could predict exactly where these planets would be at any time. But then someone asked, what if we add just one more planet? And that's when everything went crazy. Suddenly, these three celestial bodies started acting like drunk teenagers at a party. Each one pulls on the other two with its gravity. The movements become so random and chaotic that even our most powerful computers can't predict what will happen. Scientists call this the three-body problem, and it's basically nature's way of saying you thought you had me figured out. This discovery basically told scientists that their dream of a perfectly predictable universe was dead. Imagine spending centuries thinking you're getting closer to understanding everything. Then three balls floating in space come along and say, actually, you can't even figure us out. And this chaos shows up everywhere, from the weather to the stock market to why your headphones always get tangled in your pocket. The universe isn't a perfect clock. It's more like a cosmic mosh pit. Number 5. The Universe's Worst Prediction Imagine being so wrong about something that you're not just off by a little bit, or even by a lot. You're off by a number so huge it makes Jeff Bezos' bank account look like pocket change. That's exactly what happened when scientists tried to predict how much energy empty space has. They were wrong by 120 decimal places. That's like predicting your friend weighs as much as a million trillion 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 universes when they actually weigh as much as a hamster. Scientists took their two best theories, quantum mechanics and general relativity. According to quantum mechanics, Empty space is like a crazy party where particles pop into existence, dance around for a split second, and then disappear. Like the world's tiniest rave, happening everywhere, all the time. 
General relativity says this energy should be warping space itself. When scientists combined these theories, the answer was basically all of it. The prediction said there should be so much energy that the universe would have exploded faster than a teenager's social life after posting an embarrassing TikTok. But when they actually measured it, turns out empty space has about as much energy as a sleepy sloth. Scientists call this the vacuum catastrophe, which is the biggest error in the history of science. And nobody knows why these super accurate theories are so wildly wrong when used together. Number 4. The Pluto Problem Back in 2005, astronomers found something that made Pluto look like the short kid in class photos. They discovered Eris, a chunk of space ice bigger than Pluto, just chilling in the outer solar system. This discovery basically started the most dramatic breakup in astronomy history. Scientists started realizing there might be hundreds more Pluto-sized objects out there. Imagine having to memorize 200 planets in school instead of nine. So in 2006, astronomers created new rules for what counts as a planet. Rule 1. You have to be round. Pluto passed this one. Rule 2. You have to orbit the sun. Pluto passed this one too. Rule 3. You have to be strong enough to bully other objects away from your orbit. And that's where Pluto failed miserably. So just like that, Pluto got demoted from planet to dwarf planet. Teachers had to go around erasing Pluto from all their solar system posters. It was like a cosmic breakup that affected millions of classroom decorations. But Pluto doesn't care. It's still out there, doing its thing, probably laughing at us in our classification drama. Number 3. The Leaky Black Hole Imagine the most powerful thing in the universe. A cosmic vacuum cleaner so strong that even light can't escape. That's a black hole. And scientists thought they had it all figured out. But then Stephen Hawking came along and discovered that black holes leak. These supposedly perfect prisons of light and matter are actually more like a bucket with tiny holes. At the edge of every black hole, pairs of particles are constantly popping into existence. One particle falls in, while its partner escapes into space. Over time, these escaping particles cause the black hole to slowly evaporate. But what happens to all the information about the stuff that fell in? According to quantum mechanics, information can't be destroyed. It's like trying to burn a book. You might turn it to ash, but technically, all the information about what was written is still there. But with black holes, it seems like information just vanishes. This created what scientists call the information paradox, and it's basically the physics equivalent of dividing by zero. This discovery means either our understanding of gravity is wrong, or quantum mechanics is wrong, or both. Number 2. The Cosmic Speed Limit The universe has a speed limit. 186,282 miles per second. And unlike your local highway patrol, this one's enforced by physics itself. Before Einstein came along, scientists thought you could just keep speeding up forever in space, but he figured out that weird things start happening when you try to go that fast. The faster you go, the heavier you get. It's like trying to push a shopping cart that gets filled with more and more bricks the faster you push it. By the time you get close to light speed, that shopping cart would weigh more than the entire Earth. And if you somehow managed to reach light speed, you'd have infinite mass. This discovery basically turned every sci-fi writer's dreams into a cosmic joke. Want to zip across the galaxy? Sorry, even at maximum speed, it would take you 100,000 years just to cross our own galaxy. Light itself travels at light speed because it has no mass. It's like being able to run super fast because you're not carrying any luggage. That's why aliens probably haven't visited us yet. They're still stuck in cosmic traffic. Number 1. The Water That Wasn't Imagine discovering a new type of water that could turn normal water into thick goo just by touching it. That's exactly what Soviet scientists thought they found back in the 1960s. They called it poly water, and it was basically water's evil twin. This stuff was thicker, denser, and refused to freeze or boil when it's supposed to. It had a boiling point of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to cook your instant noodles in about two seconds flat. Scientists worldwide lost their minds over this discovery. They thought they'd found some kind of super water that could transform regular water into more of itself just by touching it. It was like a zombie apocalypse scenario, but with water. But after all the excitement, after all the wild theories and doomsday predictions, you know what polywater turned out to be? Just regular water mixed with sweat and soap residue from dirty lab equipment. That's right. These brilliant scientists basically discovered dirty water. It's like finding a mysterious substance in your fridge only to realize it's just last month's forgotten leftovers. So next time you're feeling bad about making a mistake at work, just remember, at least you didn't convince the entire scientific community that you discovered magic water. That's all for today. 
I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.